Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. Today's video is one of the first video where I'm going to walk through some of the very basic concepts of C Sharp programming language. And today's video will be focused on if else condition. In every programming language, there is an option for conditional operations because conditional operations are extremely important in any real life scenarios. In any real life scenarios, we will have to decide based on certain condition, which path to take. And that is where if else condition comes in. And given softwares are nothing but automation of real life problems, we need to support or every programming language need to support conditional operation. And if else condition is one of the fundamental conditional operation that every programming language supports. So is C sharp. So if else condition, as the name suggests, it is defined with if and then else. And there are a few varieties of it. So it can start with if, or you can have, you can have multiple if statement, you can have if, if else, else statement. So I'm going to walk through a few of those scenarios. So this is a console application, which I'm using, but normally let's say we have a variable, which is called price and it's equal to 10. And we have to decide on a condition that if price is, let's say the price value is less than 15, then we want to buy. If it is more than 15, then we do not want to buy it. It's a hypothetical situation. So the way this can be done is through an if condition. So we write if price is less than 15, then we are going to buy. So it can be console dot right line buy else and we can just have else and console dot right line don't buy as simple as that so if the price is less than 15 we'll be buying else we are not going to buy it this is the fundamental case for a if else condition very fundamental very fast scenario now the comp condition here might get complex so you might say, if it is less than five, then buy. If it is more than five, less than 15, then bargain. If it is more than 15, less than 20, then think again. And if it is more than 20, then don't buy. So in that scenario, what we can do is we can do if, and then we can say else if, the price is less than 10 and we want to say it is more than 5. So the end condition here is used by this end operator. So this one, this end end is a conditional operator which will say that both side has to match then only the condition will be satisfied. So here we can say if less than 10 and greater than five, but for easier reading, it should be greater than five and less than 10, because this is easier to read. If it is greater than five and less than 10, then you will write console, console dot, right line and here you're going to say bargain and as I said the third condition is if it is more than 10 and less than 15 then bargain sorry if it is more than 5 less than 10 you buy if it is more than, if it is less than 15, you buy. So that condition has to change. Otherwise, this is not going to work. So here we are going to say, if it is, if price is, price is 
if price is less than 5 then buy if the price is more than 5 and less than 10 bargain else if the price is more than 10 and price is less than 15 then I'm going to say think about it right and if it is greater than 15 of course just don't buy so we just made the condition complex we are going through multiple scenarios here hence we are going to use if else if else if and else condition and now here there is one problem when we say less than five and here we say greater than five nothing happens when the five hits and five goes into don't buy so here we can say this one as either we can say less than equal to less than equal to or we can say greater than equal to so let's say we say less than equal to five then buy if greater than five and let's say less than equal to 10 so it is inclusive of 10 so here we're going to say if it is greater than five which means start from six less than equal to 10 means still 10 bargain and if it is greater than 10 and less than equal to 15 or here it can be less than 15 it really doesn't matter based on the scenario but let's say less than equal to 15 so still 15 you think about it if you want to buy or not and then else means it is greater than 15 just don't buy so this is the scenario we can do with if else if now there is another thing you can do is you can also break into multiple ifs so in which case they are completely independent statement here what happens if the code is satisfied this if it is less than five it is not even going to go and check rest of the condition if it is between five and ten it's going to just execute this and it is not going to consider rest of this condition and so on and so forth but here instead of else if if we do if if and if we make this also if price greater than 15 then in this case what will happen is the code will go through each and every line so it will execute this then it will come it will still go and execute this condition it will still go execute condition still go and execute this condition though it is just 10 it is going to go through all of this condition whereas in a normal scenario or in the very fundamental scenario of if else if it's just going to execute the condition which is satisfied and after the condition is satisfied it is not going to go through the rest of the condition so that is the main fundamental difference between if else if condition versus multiple if condition so that is something we should keep in mind when writing if else scenario so as i said this is the very fundamental implementation of if else the other thing we use i covered the end condition which is considering the operation between these two and making sure both of the conditions satisfied if you want only one of the conditions satisfied then here you are going to use or condition which is signifies by this and this is the or operator but this is not the right use case for that for or operator you might want to do something else for example if it is greater than 5 or less than 10 it really doesn't make a lot of sense because if it's greater than 5 most likely um, you don't want to use this scenario so you can say if it is greater than 5 or let's say it is less than 3 something like that in which case it makes sense so it will check if it's greater than 5 or less than 3 which means 5 4 and 3 will not be satisfied but rest of the other condition will be satisfied by this particular else if condition 
So this is another operator, which is the OR operator, which is used quite heavily when it comes to implementing the if else scenario. So this is the very fundamental implementation of if else condition, which is you can either use if else if else, or you can just use if else, or you can use multiple if condition. And as I mentioned, the fundamental difference between using if else if else condition versus multiple if condition is that in case of if else if and else condition, once a particular condition is satisfied, it is not going to execute rest of the path. Whereas for multiple if condition, even if a condition is satisfied, it will still going to go through all the if condition. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. As I mentioned, this is a very fundamental video tutorial for some of my audience who requested me to talk about the fundamental concepts of C-sharp. Hence, I'll be covering this in next few videos. And this video is mainly focused on if else condition. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you think you are going to get value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.